So what does a 54 year old woman have in her medicine cabinet? There's so much stuff in there that I don't use. Oh my goodness, I'm embarrassed. It's really dirty. <laughs> I do not believe you can truly clean a space unless you empty the space. One down. Two down. Okay, I can't fit anymore. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. All empty. Okay, I guess I should do the drawers as well. Ugh. Do you think I have enough tools? This isn't even all of them. Before I even tackle all of that, I am gonna clean this. Oh my goodness. I'm embarrassed. This is satisfying. Uh... Yay, it's all clean. Now that pile over there needs to be organized. Ugh. It is all sorted and the amount of stuff in here is mind boggling. From this point over is hair face stuff, cleansers, moisturizers, serums, medicine. <laughs> it's the smallest thing because I don't really take much medicine. I clearly have a thing with hair ties. Okay, so what I've decided to do is to first take out all the things that I know without a shadow of a doubt I'm going to use. I use it every single day, every single night, whatever. So that's step number one okay so this is the stuff that i use on a daily basis almost daily but i still have all of this so the next thing to do is to go through all the things i know without a shadow of a doubt i don't want here's the stuff that i know i'm getting rid of i'm gonna do rapid fire on why i'm getting rid of things you guys know I love this, but I can't use it with my skin anymore and using tretinoin. This is retinol. It's going to Rachel because now I'm using tretinoin. This is caffeine for your eyes. I saw no difference. I'll see if Rachel wants it. Okay, Rachel's gonna get all of this to look through. I like rosehip seed oil, not marula oil. This because I'm using tretinoin, I should not use lactic acid. I, it's too hard on my skin. I use sleeping pills once in a great while. This one makes me feel so groggy in the morning. I don't want to use it anymore. This makes me feel nothing in the morning and it works well. I cannot stand this dry shampoo. I thought I would like it because it comes out black or brown. It makes my hair feel gross. This, I think I got the wrong one. My friend Lisa from Lisa Monique Beauty recommended it and she said she actually uses a different one. All three of these are thickening things. And I have come to the conclusion that I do not need thickening things. I need volume. I don't even use scrunchies. And these, I don't like the colors of them. I just don't like this type. It pulls my hair out. What was I thinking? Who on earth besides a tiny little baby is going to use this little thing? Melatonin is not good for me. It makes me feel weird. I tried both of these for thickening your lashes. This one from e.l.f. is a newer one. It's Lash and Brow Serum. It made me itch so bad. I have something in it that maybe I'm allergic to. Then there's this one and I just didn't notice any difference. This is a powder that is supposed to look Oh my goodness, it's supposed to texturize your hair and all it did is made my hair feel heavy. And this one just, I don't think it even really worked after I really thought about it. It just didn't seem like it did anything more. Okay, all three of these I'm getting rid of. I think my hair is too thick for it. I just don't use wands. The plates are just too short. I need something much longer. All right, let's go through the hair things. I love this. Why did I not put it over here? That goes there. This one is actually a new product to me and I need to try it out. This is a mousse that actually comes out brown and I just haven't tried it. So this I do need to try. This I use when my hair is darker, so it's not a daily thing, but I need to use it. This is the same thing. So my hair is highlighted now. I don't really need this dark color, but I will use it at some point, so I'm gonna keep. This I think did nothing. It's supposed to volumize with a powder. I'm, no, I'm not gonna keep this. This is a mousse that I've used for so many years. I still like it, but I think I like this one better. Maybe just because of the delivery, how the nozzle is, but I like this one better, but I will use this one up. Obviously I'm keeping the camera. This is supposed to give you volume. 
I didn't think it worked that great. I'm gonna give it a couple extra tries just to see. I'm just not sure if I like it. Sometimes I will use just a tiny little pea size, rub it through to, between my hands, and then um, rub it just in the ends of my hair just to kind of tame the frizzies. I'm gonna keep two brown ones, and then this one just doesn't stay in my hair. So this, these are all going. I never use these. I'll just use a clip like one of these to clip my hair back, so I don't need this. These I use to hold my hair back when I need to wash it, but I only need one. This is the only kind of hair tie I actually really like. It's called a ho hosiery elastic. It's from Scrunchie. It, it's hard to describe, but it's actually like rolled, like, like if you were to take a pantyhose and it would roll, it's kind of like that. And this stuff is great. I love these. Now, I'm also trying these for the first time. I have one in my hair today. And this holds my hair up better, like if I want a higher ponytail, than this. These I use on an occasion if I want to get some volume. They're just Velcro rollers. These I use constantly and run out of them constantly. And these are the smallest I can go. Sometimes I will use this just for one section of my hair. Okay, I got this the other day. It's actually quite new. I don't like it on my face at all, but I am gonna use it for the rest of my body. I do like this, I just don't like it in the summer. I only like it in the winter because it is pretty intense with hydration. All right, I will tell you before I started losing weight, I used Tums almost daily and now I barely ever use it. So everything is organized and I think this is gonna work good. This is as good as it's going to look from this point forward. It will get dirty. <laughs> okay, over here I did all my cleansers. I decided to keep all of the cleansers that I have even though right now some of the CeraVe are hurting my skin because of the tretinoin. Um, they sting just a tiny bit. They don't leave anything bad. It's not like I get a rash or redness. It just stings a little bit so it's not comfortable. So I've switched to Lorac Posay, and this does not give me any stinging. It's the same price, so for right now, I'm gonna stick with this, but I do wanna use up the CeraVe that I have. I have my e.l.f., the makeup melting balm that I use, I love. So for the hair things, I kept three different dry shampoos. This is my favorite, the Living Proof. This is the one I'm trying, and I do love this. This, So I wanna use this up before I start the other ones. Up here is just different other ones that I like to use or I'm still trying out. So I'm gonna keep them up here and right in front so I can see them. And then I have some other ones in my stash that I will bring in as soon as I know whether I really like all of these. And then I have any medication that I have. Black Cohosh does help me have less hot flashes. This is my favorite little timer. So when I'm doing my teeth whitening, this times it, I just turn it over into the number I want. And then when the 30 minutes is over, it dings, dings, dings and then I just turn it back. It's my favorite little thing. I'll link it below. Deodorant, eye stuff over here, and then here's all my facial serums and things like that. This is my tretinoin. Right now I'm trying out Grande Lash and the brow, so in about six months, I will let you know if I like that. I literally just started it. And my CeraVe, my tanologist for tanning my face. Love this. Ordinaries, rosehip seed oil, and squalene. I love both of those. And then I'm trying out, this brand reached out to me. They're on Amazon. It's called Eva Naturals. So, so far so good. I'm liking them. So I'm still trying all those out. I have not a very strong opinion about it either way. So my husband made this and he literally glued with hot glue this clothespin. They've never come off. I, I'm literally shocked about it and it's been holding on for more than maybe two years. And then here I just do, did all of my brushes and combs are underneath but I mostly use these two brushes. So the top drawer I put all of my hair things in a basket this is the um, clips and underneath it are the rollers. So I, those kind of stack, I'm not sure where I got these. They might, it might be Target, but, and these are just cups, like glassware actually, literally. And then down here is just the two that I kept, my brush cleaner, and that's it in this drawer. I didn't show you this before, but I did clean it out. This is where I keep the thing to hold my hair back. And then I use these to clean my face um, periodically. 
toothbrush, and then my teeth whitening strips and dental floss. So I love this little two drawer thing.